Yeah, so welcome, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year. This is going to be a very small a workshop. Better year, hopefully. A better, a better year. year. Well, the last one was good. Was it good? The weather is good. Flow is all around. Okay. Mm. Okay, so since uh, we are at this point of the year, well, I so suppose past this point of the year where uh, we are doing introductions and icebreakers, uh, but still I thought it would be, uh, it might be useful to cover this topic anyway, and I started thinking about that I came up with a few platforms that could be useful uh, for this kind of, uh, this kind of stuff. Of course, icebreakers are, or introductions are not the only two uh, reasons, around the only two ways in which uh, these tools that I'm about to talk about and you guys are about to test out can be used. We will talk about what other things, uh, what other interesting uh, and exciting things we can, we can do with them. Uh, but let us just start from, from the beginning, uh, meaning introductions and then icebreakers. So my first question is what icebreaker activities uh, do you usually rely on in class? And I want to give you two minutes to think about that. Um, Easy for me. Well, I can say it right now. But, <laughs> hmm. yes, because I use all of the time. Okay. Me. Because the Vietnamese language is tonal. Uh -huh. Okay, so singing. I start singing with them. I use only three tones. Well, we have six tones. Mm -hmm. For three tones, we have that. La, la, la. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Exactly in the English. So, I use that as a musical tune, Vera Jacka. I use that the Vietnamese language. I use same tune, only three notes. La 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 So that what I, I do all of the time at work. So you just have them sing? Sing. We sing together. Now we have them sing. We sing together. We introduce la la la. Where are you going? Everybody knows that. But then we mix around. Okay, and then they're all singing with you. Don't sing with me, but I write and you think because every no English. Anyway. James, if I if I saw you the, the first if it were if it were to be my first encounter with you, right? Uh, my first time taking Vietnamese under James' lab, coming uh, in the middle of the classroom and start singing at me. Yes. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you how to say you the word. Word. But We will be singing. Put the and sing. Mm -hmm. Very simple at that, and we laugh. We okay. all laugh, sing, wrong tune, good tune, whatever. What do you do if your students don't want to sing? Well, everybody comes to learn, you know, the first thing, that's the key. You know, the three most difficult or important uh -huh. things in Vietnamese language. First one, tone. Tone. You have to sing the right, because it's six tones. Similar to music, you have the seven notes, where well, six notes. Mm -hmm. And you have to sing. You have no choice. I say you don't speak the language. You got to sing the language. If you speak, you get in trouble. Okay. That's the beginning. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that it was all of time for me. Because they come, I said, you got to sing. Mm -hmm. Right? You sing a wrong tune, it's fine. But we change, we correct it, we make it. Until one day you sing the right tune. That you come here. That's my job. <laughs> You don't have to do it the first time, you've done it correctly. But eventually, sooner or later, we get in that. They will that. Sing if you don't get you that, you cannot get the language. No way. That, that, for me, that's a, 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 a icebreaker. Uh, Asami, what icebreakers uh -huh. uh, do you usually use with your students? Uh, I think it's like the first sentence of the first year Japanese. I often do the Japan quiz. So it's like the national. Uh, from Japan, or like what characters come from Japan, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So students, they okay, are good, but then they try to get to know each other. Okay, and the, how, how does, this, does this work okay? Yeah, yeah usually. I think so, yeah. Once they get to know each other, they, they talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, well, they're not singing, of course. They <laughs> <laughs> you know everything, right? <laughs> uh, so I have no choice. Depends on the level. I want to start from the very beginning with the very uh -huh. uh, levels. Very yes. Elementary one. Mm -hmm. So just to um, uh, I want I want them to realize that already know some Italian words, mm -hmm. and so we try to uh, to 
write on the, on the board as many Italian words they, they already know. Mm -hmm. So it's, for example, they already you know pizza, spaghetti, opera, okay. all the music. If you have students who know music, so you know the opera and the, all the adagio, uh -huh. the, the typical. And so, so they feel a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> and uh, so it's more than, than the cognates, so the, the, you know, the, the, the words that you already know. Uh, okay. the language. So, mm -hmm. And then we go with the cognitive, this is the second, uh, the second, third step, but so we, they, when they already know a little uh, of vocabulary, and this is for the elementary one, and uh, for the intermediate, when I said intermediate, so I try to retrieve uh, some facts uh, about Italy that they learn in the previous semester, so some geographic facts, some fun facts about Italy so it's, um, that they are supposed to know. Okay. With the map, uh, I project a, a mute map of Italy and try to put the, the regions, the cities, so just to mm -hmm. for the first 10 minutes. Okay. That's it. I have another idea. You have another idea. About the cuisine. Ooh. Food. Everybody will learn how to eat. Vietnamese, yeah, Italian, Vietnamese, 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 Japanese, whatever food. The best so now we use that as a uh, vocabulary. Mm. You know, these food, not food, you know. For introductions? Yes. Okay, and how would you do that in a constructive way? Well, it's coming soon. I mean, uh, two weeks we go on. The celebration, the New Year's, mm -hmm. that celebration, that means the uh, Lunar New Year. So we go and I teach them, I get the uh, menu uh -huh. from... But do you do this at the beginning of the class? Uh, it, it depends on what uh, semester. Okay, so yeah. it's level right. the Right, it, 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 uh, the occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. Um, any, anything else in terms of icebreakers? Um, I'm, I'm doing this in a Mentimeter because I actually want you to um, type up your responses so that we have a record of it, so that you know it all comes up here for everyone, and then and then sort of discuss it all together. But uh, that is not how it went, which is okay. Uh, hopefully we can do it with the next question. Uh, but before I pose the next question, uh, so since we're talking about icebreakers, inevitably a part, a significant part of icebreakers is introductions. And uh, this is something that we will be talking about uh, pretty extensively today. And we all probably agree that introductions are very important. But my question is actually, uh, how important are they? are they and, and why do you think they are important and even though this seems like a very uh, obvious question uh, if you give it some thought it might not be that way it might not turn out that way um, so with that in mind I want you guys to go to menti.com and use the code 345831 and start uh, typing up your your ideas here so the first, I have the first question, and I want to what is breaking our activities do you rely on, and, mm -hmm. I, and then I go on. So, are you already logged on? Uh, okay, well then, go to, okay, so it says the president has changed the slide, so we can go to the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you already are on the right side, so start typing. And our let's do this. We need to, first we need to find the, Oh, you don't have to write them. It's, oh. it's going to change every oh, time. Oh, change every time. And so, what are why are introductions important? Uh, based oh, on your yep. 
Introductions. Very good questions. Okay, Simon, so, mean, what do you mean by introductions? Like to the course, to language? No, I mean people. Why is it important for your students to introduce themselves to each other and also to you? So personal introductions. Very good. That should have been more specific. The only question. Did you already submit? Yes. Okay. You know each other. Yeah. That's yours. That's me. I mean, if you can, you submit more. Is it letting you? Yeah, next next question. I don't know. Oh yeah, you can. You can give him another answer. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I forgot if I said it uh, to accept multiple answers or just one answer. It looks like it takes multiple. For students. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe two more minutes. By learning how to introduce oneself, students and a uh, teacher learn language and culture to make students more comfortable in class. Hello. 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 Oh, we're talking Sorry about for being late. Uh, it's, you're being recorded, just, just so you know. Oh, never mind. It's okay. You have a nice backup. Say hello and goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Sign in. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hold you guys in this semester. Say moving forward. Um, okay, so uh, they're important uh, because of all these reasons, and they're all fantastic reasons. If I were to sum all these reasons up, I would probably say that they are important because they help create a sense of community. Mm -hmm. uh, which then has the following implications. Uh, students are more relaxed, uh, they are uh, more encouraged, uh, they're more motivated to uh, interact with the material to, to learn. Uh, there's also learning factor in and of itself. Uh, introducing yourself to the instructor and then listening to other people introduce themselves uh, teaches you uh, well target forms or target language uh, as well. And then uh, you know you get them to know each other, which uh, helps to foster this sense of community. Now, my question is. How do you guys do this? How do you have your students introduce themselves? Do you have them stand up? Hey, my name is John. Um, I like to play soccer and I'm taking this class because I have to. Or do you do other things with them? Is there like a, like an activity maybe that you can think of? Pretty much the first thing. The first thing? Yeah. Okay. James? 
Or do you yeah, have them sing? Oh, oh, oh. But I don't, I don't no, want I them. You're not taking volunteer. I said, who want to go first? Let's get somebody who volunteer. So the very each, you know, brave enough. Do you, speak up. do you nominate your volunteers or do you have like No, I ask them, you know, who want to stay first? Okay, yeah. okay. One of them, stop. Mm -hmm. And who's next? If not, they said, okay, if you don't volunteer, I follow. <laughs> I'll choose the volunteers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Step back, everybody. So, so the beginning, at least the name, so I can, uh, but just a very few information. That, that so always depending on the on the level. Mm -hmm. So in, in uh, elementary one, we start in English, and mm -hmm. so maybe uh, find a person who is on the same your uh, mm. um, who sleep at the same dorm. Uh, so just to. In the target language, in Italian. Uh, yeah, no, not in Italian. In, in, in English first. In Mentor one. Okay, right. In English. Uh -huh. so a person who already know another language. So just, three, just for five minutes. Five minutes. So just a uh, person who um, plays violin or something. Just a few questions. It depends on the. And I would imagine the, depending on the level. Yeah, that's so you. they go around. So they. Well, sometimes I, uh, let's uh, pretend to be in a, a, a party, so I put some music, it's okay, they all want to... Cartoons. <laughs> just, it depends on the... Mm -hmm. well, first I introduce myself to class, and then I help students um, set up for group up, and then they um, do the introduction in small group first, and mm -hmm. then after that I help them to introduce their friends to the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, this is, this is kind of what we do. We have them talk to each other. We have them talk about, you know, in fact, something that will help us memorize uh, their name, what their their their, their interests, uh, what they uh, what they look like. Sometimes, um, I, uh, as an instructor, uh, when uh, I was teaching college level, uh, I would. Uh, and this is small sort of digression here, I would use this part to find out as much as I could about my students' uh, learning style. Uh, most students are, of course, visual learners. Uh, there is a very, very small percentage, which is consistent with research of students that are oral uh, learners. Um, but, you know, with that in mind, you know, what kind of visual cues are they responsive to, you know, what their experience, prior experiences with language learning has been, uh, or is, uh, how many years, uh, what activities do they uh, prefer uh, doing what it was that, that they you know really really liked in uh, in, in, in high school uh, and so on and so forth. So this is uh, this could be also very useful for you for your own uh, lesson planning and, and curriculum design. But um, rather than having students sort of get up and talk to each other and talk at you, I would like to um, interest you in maybe an alternative way uh, of doing that, uh, which could be, I think, done either as a follow-up, maybe, to the first class, or perhaps even before uh, the first class. And um, to show you what I mean, um, I found this, this, this platform, it's called Thing Link. Um, if you are in front of a computer, I would encourage you to go to thinglink.com. And um, really quickly, it will take uh, a couple minutes to set up a free account, uh, just like with most of the tools that we have been using here in these workshops. Um, there are sort of different levels of, of membership. Um, the most basic one is usually free, and then the more bells and whistles you want, uh, then you have to you have to pay for those. Uh, but the good news is that with ThingLink, uh, the basic sort of membership already gives you a lot to work with. Um, sure, yeah. Whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. And I'm going to go to thing link two.
Um, I create an account. Yes, you have to create an account first. Uh, if you can, try uh, using Google Chrome, or if there's a new Firefox installed on computers, then this is the new Firefox. You're good, you're good too. Yeah, but it doesn't create a Firefox. You see, it's a preferred. So doing is do not allow cross-site tracking. Oh, yours is working? When I click on create an account, I think it's close. Okay, try going to. Do you do you have Chrome? Let me try it. Okay, so try uh, try doing that in Chrome. And are you? You're all set. Okay, perfect. Very good. No, don't upgrade. It's gonna ask you to upgrade. Do not upgrade because then it's gonna ask you for money. Uh, hey, create. And just just wait for and uh, upload an image would be. Um, Let's just wait for everybody else. See, it does Create an account. Okay, try uh, going back to Chrome. Mm -hmm. So that I can do your own thing. Like. Perfect. Uh -huh. And then, very good. It doesn't let me create a Oh boy. In Chrome or in uh, Firefox, you just drive. Oh, James, what are you doing? Oh, you're a teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. And where were you born? And there you go. There you go. Rio? Well, I can don't. I mean, the college is going to send like a birthday card or something. Here, but, uh, <laughs> no, anything. I do that. Any day. Oh, you're not in business. Oh. We're taking that. You know, we're doing something. All right. Let me do uh, that. Okay, yeah. so using the link. Uh, then give it your your date of birth. I have, well, any day. I have no idea why you're doing this. Computer, I don't know. Hold on. Let me computer computer demonstration. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you to, you to yeah. Tell me what you do. This is always the most fun part. Okay, and then log in. Ah. And then sign up and then do it. Start for ah. free and then email and password. Okay. All right, James is a little bit behind, which is fine. Yeah, so you put in your email and you think of a password. Okay, password yeah. service. Just any password that you want. Any password. But now you're in business, you have to be on that one. That was my mistake, right? So now uh, put in your name. All right, try your name. name. And then when you go to choose one, you choose teaching. Right? And then you set it so that it misses. And then password, whatever you will remember. Yay, and then you're in the new. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. So, uh, start under using your name, then you want to choose if you're a teacher or a student. And of course, you're a teacher here, and, and then that's exactly the same. No, no, don't talk about it. I get started. Big one. <laughs> Starting to <laughs> trick. Yeah. Okay, we're in. Okay, all right, all right. So, we're, we're all in? Are we all in? Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. In the upper right hand corner, um, for some of you, for, some, for others, it might be in the middle of the page, uh, there's this button create. Okay, uh, but before you click on it, I want to um, maybe talk for a couple seconds about this menu that you see in front of you. So right here, of course, is your account, your picture. Um, now, the thing is that because you are using uh, the free version of ThingLink, uh, what you will have access to is sample image. In other words, you will only be able to work with images if you are really dig this thing and want to work with other media. Uh, you can work with a 360 degree pictures. We can have a kind of like a virtual reality thing where you move around and you show and you see the surroundings. Or you can even work with videos. But for today, we're just going to work with pictures. So, 
Hit create. Mm -hmm. And then the first the first thing should be upload image. Right here. Uh-huh. Okay. And if you have an image, uh, then of course upload it. If not, try to, you know, find a photo or an image, whatever. So you have to choose one image. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so choose an image that you can be working with, and we'll see what's happening inside. And this is your baby. Okay, great. Um, so, so the images that you're choosing, of course, are you know whatever you have access to on your own computers. These are usually random things. Um, I do have an image too, uh, and my image is that of uh, chess boxing. Now, if you don't know what chess boxing is, I do recommend that you look it up on Wikipedia. It is a fascinating sport. <laughs> now, um, of course, this is, this is complete nonsense, uh, but how can we use this for introductions? As in, how can your students use this? Ideas? On the first day? Of yeah, the first on the first class, day, or even before the English, first day. You mean. Or, or in a target language. And not on the first day in the first class. Well, then the basic level, then. So what, what images can your students upload here? Uh, for introductions, we're talking about Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. hometown. The hometown, okay, what else? Something they like about Japanese culture. Something they like about Japanese culture, uh-huh. Yeah, like food or whatever. Uh-huh. Something related to the food. Something related to the Hobbies or interests, mm -hmm. James? Kind of. Look like a competition to me. Uh, well, but this this is this is what I put in there. But what 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 would you, you know? What kind of images can your students? We're brainstorming here. Well, they want to hear to listen to the jitcher, learn from the jitcher. Okay, um, that that's that's also a good idea. Uh, but if you but you can have your students upload an image that you know would introduce them themselves. And all these ideas that we had here are fantastic. Um, I might use that image if I were to introduce myself, but I also, you know, I mean, everybody can bring and can show you an image, right? This is not something that is that you that you need technology to do. Now, what is really cool about it is that you can this tool lets you annotate these pictures, and you can do it interactively too, and it's really simple to do. Uh, what you need to do is essentially give this plus here. Just Click on whichever portion of the picture you, you want. And as soon as you do that, in the, on the left, it opens up a little, little sidebar, right? Uh, that lets you annotate that dot or connect that dot with different things. So let's say right here I, am, I marked chess. You know, in a little text box, I can type in I really don't like to play chess. Chess is boring. And if I am on a more uh, advanced level of your of the language you're teaching, um, you know, I could do it in the target language already. You click save. And there you go. Mm -hmm. So we can do it with with regular text. Uh, of course, we can also do it with other things. So let's say um, I'm interested in marking this bro here, and I want to I want to go to YouTube, and I let's say not only do I not like playing chess, but uh, the song Gangnam Style makes me think about playing chess for some reason because I'm very good. Okay. 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 
So we can go ahead uh, and copy the URL here. Put it in. Put it in the box. What are we? What are we doing here? No, we just follow you. I follow you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I just pasted a YouTube link into this box here, um, and here we can, you know, it, it would. What uh, what ThingLink does is it recognizes uh, where links are coming from. Uh, so once it uh, figures out if it's YouTube or video or whatever other platform you're using, uh, you can tell it how you want this thing to display. Whether you want it small image or just the text or you know maybe like custom. And you click save. And now we have sort of two points of interest. Uh, in the image. We can keep adding on to it. Uh, it could be text, it could be pictures. Uh, maybe let's let's post the picture here. Um, but only one person sees this, right? The person who's doing it. Well as you're okay, so as you're preparing it, uh -huh. you being your student, but of course you can also do it as a teacher. Right. Um, with and while you're in the editor, uh, nobody else has access to it. Right? But you can also share these things. So mm. let me uh, let me show you how to insert images. I'm gonna click on this guy's head and look for hmm, I don't know. Famous commentators. And if I go to images, there's this guy here. Copy the link to this image and put it here. And maybe put it there. Hmm. Oh, okay. No, no. Um, so you already see that uh, this free version of thing like mm -hmm. has some some limitations, which is fine. I mean, it's literally just a different. Small and big image, not a big deal. Um, so and, and so on and so forth. You know, we can keep adding on to it, and so can your students. You know, that way, uh, rather than having your students, you know, come up with five things that they like, or what they do in their free time, or you know, what their name means, or what it is they're interested in Japanese culture, or what associations they have with Italy and Italians, uh, they can find a picture, and then annotate that picture with different kind of media. Uh, they can then type their own little descriptions, save it, and then share it. Wait. Well, how do you do the share? Um, so after you've saved it, mm -hmm. uh, you will see something like this, uh, and which is a, how the picture will appear mm -hmm. uh, out of once you're done editing it, um, and then. Um, you can either keep editing it from the upper right corner menu, or you can share it from right here, by clicking this, this little share icon. And to share it, uh, we can either do it via a link, uh, where you know we either email links to each other, or we can, you know, we can post that link uh, into uh, into Courseworks. Uh, you can share it through social media uh, if you have access to your students' social media, which would be uh, very weird. Uh, mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, some some people do. Uh, or you can embed it as an iframe, and this is something that goes back to the last semester we were talking about embedding different things as iframes into your into your coursework. So technically, what you can have your students do is uh, you know open or make a introductions page in Courseworks. Uh, and then have your students create these thing links with, you know, various annotated annotate uh, with the, these images with various annotations, uh, and then simply paste them as iframes into um, into your uh, into the introductions page on, in in Courseworks for everyone to have access to. So the image must be in JJ because I tried the different images and I. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, so JPEG is the, would be the default. Uh, all my images is 
Okay, it's, it's okay. I can figure it out. Okay. I mean, I can try not to understand what's going on. JPEGs should work. I mean, this is kind of the default format for images, um, just like MP3 the default format for uh, for music. Is a question about sharing. Mm -hmm. um, if you uh, uh, create page and course works, students cannot edit them. So you have to do it through collaborations, maybe? So you need to, oh, that's right, yes. That is true. Unless you make them co uh, authors, which you never want to do. And no, you don't want to make them co authors. Unless you can now make them co authors of that they're... one particular page. I don't think that has it has that. Uh, they were talking about this. But you can uh, make a page into collaborations and call it instruction page. Uh, you but the collaborations then will be as a Google Doc. That will be a Google Doc. Yeah, which does which is not an HTML document or oh. something like you do it. So I guess in this case, what uh, you can well, you can create your own thing link and then share it as an example of you introducing yourself to your students. Right. And then have them create similar things and just email you know, the links to you. And then uh, write. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, and uh, you, as a teacher, could put them on the, on the page. Yeah, yeah. And then everybody will have, you know, will have, will have access to it. Okay, cool. Any questions about that? Any interesting comments, insights, or um, expressions of discontent? Any um, maybe objections or problems that you see with this particular tool? It's a bit long for uh, you know introduction, like five minutes for the first class, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I understand yeah. that it's time-consuming, and I understand that it's fun to do something visual and fun. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that would be something I would do. Maybe, maybe for homework. That would be different. Yes. A fun activity where they have to introduce themselves following the and first class. And then you can already do it with a, a bit of a target language because you've learned mm -hmm. a couple of words. Mm -hmm. That would be maybe an idea. Right, have it all in T2 and you know share the links and boom, done. Right, this would be this would be pretty. I think uh, or even before the first class, but then again that poses all sorts of issues and mm -hmm. difficulties because you know they have to know the language and they have to have access to it and they have to register mm -hmm. in time. So maybe after the first class, that would be the, uh, the right thing to do with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have 15 minutes left. Oh my god, time flies. Okay. Um, hopefully we have <coughs> time to do one more. Um, so ThingLink allows you to create single annotated images. Um, storyboard that in turn. And you're welcome to go to storyboardthat.com, uh, create a free account um, while I am um, talking about this. Uh, so, storyboardthat.com uh, kind of plays on that notion of, of creating your your own your own images, uh, but unlike a thing link, uh, it lets you. Create comic strips. Oh, yes, James. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Go to free free trial or not? Uh, no. So you go to log on. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a new user. Mm -hmm. And then new user registration on what? So I already have an account here, so I'm just going to go ahead and log on. Uh, story that. Okay, log on. Alessandro, uh, what time do you have to leave? Because remember that you... So it's, um, Minutes, but it's okay. So it's, uh, I had my question to ask you today about some other. <laughs> some other things? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, lower this really quickly. Because yeah. um, the other two tools that I have are very, very similar to, uh, to Storyboard That. Uh, they're also comic, uh, comic tools. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so um, you really all should. 
create your first storyboard. Mm -hmm. Once you're in, uh, you can just go ahead and create your first storyboard. Uh, James are still going on. Um, okay, well, somebody already has this username. Oh, Bernie, can you can you hold? Yes. Okay. Just do the just do your uni. Uni. Yeah. Just do your uni actually. Right. Okay. Um. So you should. Uh, uh, okay. Please wait. So uh, you if if you've already started and uh, access your your account mm -hmm. uh, or your your comic strip editor, uh, you should see three empty squares. I already um, started working with playing with it a bit. I created my first uh, my first little uh, piece uh, of the comic. Uh, now there's a lot of um, a lot of features that this thing has uh, that you can play around with. You know, starting with the layout where you can choose oh, how many this. cells you want to use and what you want them to be like. Uh, you can, you know, add cells, you can move them around, you can subtract them. Uh, there, everything is labeled, um, everything is pretty easy to use, it's just there's a lot. Um, so obviously I'm not going to go through everything, uh, but I just wanted to show you kind of really quick how to, you know, put one of these together. Um, so that uh, you are aware of it or familiar with it. Okay, so I wish I had windows in my office. Mm. So let's say my next my next uh, box will be will feature windows. Um, and you can choose the color of the building here. So that my, my building is going to be red. Uh, with gray accents, and the color will be the city with green. Okay, and then let's say that I want to put a character in there. Um, hmm. So I'm going to choose, and you can choose from all these different categories of characters teams, jobs, sports, cultural. Let's do classical. For cultural? Mm, it's a sort of a different, different, well, different cultures, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so let's do. Somebody said what adults and so white person, I think. So those would be the, the teen stick figures. Um, so if you, let's just take this person right here. Well, this is a. Okay. Uh, you can uh, choose the skin. You can choose the skin color. You can, you can edit these little, little characters here. So I'm going to make mine a bit uh, smaller, maybe, uh, and then put her right on the edge. And then this person will be pale as a ghost. And text under textables, I'm going to give her a bubble. And there I will type. I like to live on the edge, and you can, you know, you can you can choose uh, your font, your size, whether you want bold there, bold or underlined, or um, other, or however you want it to to look. Um, oh, this is great font. I love this. Make mine a little bit smaller, perhaps, and. Um, and so on and so forth, right? When we are done with this, uh, I think it saves automatically. Uh, but let's just you know, click save here and then uh, save and continue. Okay, then going back to, just save the next one, maybe. Here we go, okay, and here going back to the, to the menu. Now, uh, we can again share these things, uh, so you can down and, and this is really actually really really cool. Uh, you can you can print these things out. You can download as images or as a PowerPoint. Uh, you can embed it or share as a slideshow. Uh, so this is probably not uh, that great for introductions at the elementary level, but perhaps for advanced, uh, it might be it might be very useful. Uh, one idea that I had with this uh, this could be used as a uh, Pretty neat storytelling platform for your students to talk about their end of summer break. 
or their winter break, uh, where they went, what they did, uh, you know, using the target language, whom we interacted with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, any other um, any other ways in this in which this could be could be utilized? And it's three frames only, right? Oh no, you can you can do that. More you frames. can add frames. Oh yeah, if you if even you in the basic version. Absolutely, if you go back to edit ah. uh, and well, it's loading, so if you can add cells. Ah, the timeline. Oh, how interesting. fun! Mm hmm. I mean, I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna put more cells up there, but you can. Uh, choose between, you can have six times four, you can have 24 cells uh, if you want. You can know, make it a proper comic. And then uh, for the layout, for you know, projects, it would be great too. For yeah. storytelling projects? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so easy. It's too bad that all the images are very American in terms of architecture and stuff. It'd be nice if you could do things in other countries. Uh, well, by any, so oh, for. Maybe you can. Maybe you can yeah, yeah, maybe. For scenes, uh, I mean, you have Is a... any way to get the picture from somewhere? Yes. Uh, I mean, you have these oh, pictures. Oh, that's true. Yes. Okay, that's like, the, yeah. that's kind of Dutch. Uh -huh. Kind of. Because uh, <laughs> it's good enough. Uh, kind for, of I don't know enough. if there's anything, anything Vietnamese there. And I like, I like the way it's flowing. Hmm? The, the way, the, illust the form of illustration is nice. Mm -hmm. It's nicely drawn. It's not, uh, you know, bad drawings. I like the art work. It's, it's, it's clear, it's simple. Yes, it's clear and simple. Um, I love this. You and, cannot uh, add them. And he uses like Verona, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You cannot upload your images. So here's the thing. You can, in principle, upload it, but that is paid. Yes, how much does it cost? What else does the paid version do? Um, so they really have like different this. membership levels with different amount of number of features that are uh, available for uh, different subscription uh, amounts. Uh, I didn't look them? into it. Hmm? Can you print them? The these? Yes. You can print them too. And you, you can print them with, with basic right. version too. What you could also do is maybe, uh, because of course the students cannot have a paid version, but you have the paid version, me, me. Print it with all the text bubbles and they have to uh, just write it in the homework or something. Well, right. if this is something that you want to use, I'm sure they do, they would be very open to uh, collaboration with the university. Um, I love maybe it. Even, maybe even allowing you to use it, to use it for free. Um, so again, if you would like, I can get in touch with them and see if that's something that they I could see if this is something I would use. Mm -hmm. really it's not so expensive. So no? So it's uh, so $8.99 per month, I guess. Mm. So per semester, that's uh, students, you have nine times four thirty six. Students, students, so it's paying with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I could see that I could do that. That I would do this. This is fun. You could even, you know, with ever, in the first year, you always have uh, the textbook are very. Um, every chapter is concentrated around a, a topic: the, the house, the family, the you know. They create some stories. And then at the end, they can create a story about that topic as, as a project. Use it as a project. Or, kind of project. Mm -hmm. I see. I can see many things being done. It's fun. Mm -hmm. so I do, always do, like visual do, things. Do you, have, do you have any input? What, are, what ideas do you have? How would you use it? Yeah, I guess we can also use it in a story we have like activities to talk about what's in our room. Like we have a table, we have this and that and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's an elementary level or intermediate. Well I mean you can probably even for you know even advanced level you can have them work in groups and then come up with a with a narrative or with a uh, with a novel or a graphic novel. Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, anything else? You have to go. Um, before you, but, uh, so it's storyboard that and thing link is the two that we did. Uh, the the next one that I wanted to show you, um, and it is very similar to storyboard that is strip generator, and uh, it is also a comic uh, generating platform. 
Um, it is a lot less customizable uh, than Storyboard that. Um, it is, I think, entirely for free, or at least I have not found a, uh, I have not found a pricing section on this site anywhere. Uh, so where is our, yeah, where do we, strip generator, okay. Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot edgier. Um, mm -hmm. A lot more sort of abstract. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see what some of the comics look like, you can just click on them. Uh, you don't have a ton of characters to choose from. Uh, those that you do have are very schematic. Um, mm -hmm. But it is entirely for free. I like Storyboard better because of the simplicity of the lines and the it's all consistency. Simple. Hmm? Of this one. Yeah. Well, this, right, it's, it's not. Um, it's more than just a Perhaps, yeah, it's one of the Cartoon Network sort of vibe. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but again, you know, uh, if you don't necessarily want yeah, to. Yeah, one is perfect. So, mm -hmm. so the storyboard that too. is much better. Yeah. What is it? Um, okay, so this is, uh, and should you, you know, choose to, uh, or if you're curious, uh, this platform, then, you know, you can also check it out at home, uh, see right. if this might be something that, you know, you might use, or even, uh, well, I maybe wouldn't encourage you to give a choice to your students who do use storyboard that, and this, because then the, the, the big one, right? Um, but, you know, this would be, this would be a viable alternative. Uh, for that. And, um, I don't know if there's anything else. To do um, another uh, comic strip generator that uh, you are welcome to check out on your own at home. Uh, they are all sort of very similar uh, in terms of the interface. Uh, it's all drag and drop, you select your scenes, you select your characters, some of them will allow you uh, more customization others, uh, but for the most part, once you get a hang of one of them, you can easily pop over the um, Bless you. Um, and we are at three, uh, the 330 mark. Uh, this is, I think, the last one that I had.